How are you doing guys? It's Luke here from Simbox and this is my breakdown and prediction for Lee Wood versus Mauricio Lara. It headlines the Matchroom card live on DAZN and it's going to be a banger. Lee Wood is the defending WBA featherweight champion. He's the full champion given that the WBA elevated him to that position after Leo Santa Cruz gave up the title. He's on a terrific run of form. He's got wins over the likes of Kanju. He stopped Reese Mould, and most recently he had that epic fight of the year contender, 12th round stoppage victory over Michael Conlon, an all-time British classic fight. He's coming up against Mauricio Lara, most famous on these British shows, for a terrific victory over former featherweight world champion Josh Warrington. He's a terrific puncher in his own right. He's one of the most feared fighters in the division. So hats off to Lee Wood for taking this fight. Originally, the fight was scheduled for back in September of last year. The fight fell through due to an injury suffered by Lee Wood. And a lot of people were under the impression that Lee Wood might have been ducking Rich O'Lara, that he didn't really want to take on the challenge of the Mexican power puncher. But he's put those rumours to bed. He's taken on the fight. It's a voluntary defence of WBA title. Again, hats off to Lee Wood. Eddie Hearn, the promoter himself, said that he would have looked at going down an easier route maybe a, a Kiko Martinez or something like that but Lee Wood and trainer Ben Davidson clearly see something in Mauricio Lara they think they can beat him they think he, they've got his number and he'll be a terrific name to add to the resume of Lee Wood the fight takes place in Nottingham of course for many years Nottingham boxing was represented by Carl Froch and he has since passed on that baton to Lee Wood and with the list of wins that he's we've previously mentioned he's clearly running with that baton and making a, a terrific name for himself in his own right in his home city of Nottingham it's going to be a raucous crowd I think they're expecting a 9,000 sellout capacity in terms of my prediction this is why it's so late that I posted this video I was sat on the fence for so long I think Lee Wood has been written off time and time again in his career and he keeps proving the odd makers wrong he was the underdog in the Conlon fight he was the underdog in the Kanju fight he won both of those fights by TKO and he's a big underdog here against Mauricio Lara who is the is the puncher Lee Wood can punch but Mauricio Lara is a puncher as well who's the bigger puncher is Lee Wood the better boxer could it could it be a matter of Lara early Lee Wood late that's where I'm siding I think Lee Wood is gonna have to overcome an early storm Mauricio Lara is going to be like a, a caged animal and when that first bell goes i think he's going to come at lee wood with huge amounts of ferocity letting go with heavy shots we've seen lee wood go down early against michael conlon lara's a much bigger puncher than michael conlon so there is that element of danger there that lara could take out lee wood in those early rounds but my prediction is that lee wood will weather the storm early he'll come through some major adversity he might even touch down but we've seen that he can get up off the canvas to continue and I think Lee Wood weathers the storm. As I say, he carries power himself, but his superior boxing IQ will start ebbing away at Lara. His footwork, he can't stay in the pocket too long, use his feet, get in and out of range, go to the body of Lara, chop him to the body, get him to the body often, and you chop at a tree for long enough, the tree will fall. And I believe Lee Wood gets the knockout, the TKO of Mitchell Lara between rounds 7 and 12. I'd like to narrow it down a little bit more, but I really can't give an exact prediction given that this fight is so open and can go in many different directions. But I'm predicting Lee Wood, TKO between rounds 7 and 12. Guys, as always, check out Simbox across all social media. We're on Twitter, Simbox1, Sim underscore Box on Instagram. Hit that subscribe button below and leave your prediction in the comments below and I'll catch you on the next one.